Hey everybody, it's Stephanie and welcome to day number five of our clean eating challenge. Today we are going to talk about the next principle of clean eating and that is how to win the emotional eating war. Are you an emotional eater? Yep, you are. We all are emotional eaters and it's okay. We just have to identify our triggers and learn how to manage them. We're going to accomplish two things today. First is that I want you to know your why and to understand your why. This is the deeper meaning for wanting to eat clean, get healthy, get fit, be more toned, lose weight. Without your why, you will lose steam and you will not be able to achieve your goals. Having and knowing your why is going to help you to overcome those triggers that make you an emotional eater. Second, we are going to identify the triggers that make you want to eat emotionally. Yes, we are all emotional eaters and it is not your fault. It's the culture that we have grown up in. We eat for everything. We eat for family get-togethers. We eat for work parties. We eat for holidays. We eat to celebrate pretty much any kind of get-together. There's always food involved. Um, Halloween equals candy, Christmas equals yummy goodies and pastries and treats, um, Easter equals jelly beans. Food surrounds us all the time. But we need to refocus our thoughts and know that we are not eating just to eat, but we are eating because we are truly hungry and not to um, eat because of our emotions. So. I have attached a file in our clean eating challenge group. If you go under files, there is a file that has emotional eating lifelines. And these are ideas that you can do instead of eating or when you have that craving or desire to eat, think you're hungry, um, take a look at this list and there's just lots of different ideas of what you can do instead of eating or to take your mind off of wanting to eat. So I want you guys to realize that you are emotional eaters and understand that you're an emotional eater. You will have times that you feel happy, that you feel sad, that you um, just have all these emotions built up that you want to eat. And I want you to realize that it's not wrong to feel that way. But we need to figure out how to stop eating emotionally. So when you feel those feelings, when you're happy or sad or want to cry or whatever those feelings you're feeling and you start thinking about food, I want you to hold up a stop sign and I want you to think, are you really hungry or are you eating because of your feelings? Um, once we realize that, then we can start to work on changing our thoughts. So before every meal, even if it's a planned meal, I want you to stop and I want you to think, am I hungry? Or am I eating just because um, I'm feeling like it's time to eat, I'm sad, I'm happy, or um, are you truly having those hunger pangs? So it is okay to um, feel those feelings. Um, I just don't want you to eat because you're feeling the feelings. That's the thing that we have to step back and stop and realize and not eat just because of emotions, but eat because we're actually satisfying um, that hunger and need. So for today, um, we're gonna do a few things. I want you to write out your why. I want you under, to understand why you are wanting to change, why you are wanting to lose weight, why are you wanting to um, get more fit um, there's an underlying reason, a deeper meaning um, than what we often talk about. And you need to understand that and recognize that before you can truly change. Then I want you to identify your triggers um, and recognize when are the times that you break down and want to eat emotionally. And then I want you to, after you have recognized your triggers, I want you to then look at that list of the emotional eating lifelines. I want you to figure out things that you're going to do when those moments arise because they will. And I want you to figure out how you are going to deal with those triggers 